Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Lombard algebra problem. So here we have c plus 4 is equals to c minus 4 and we solve this problem for all the values of c. So here first we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section and here i can first explain why we solve this problem for two methods so uh, the reason is that if in your exam the question statement is that uh, you need to find the values of c or you need to find the roots of this equation but if you see directly into the question statement uh, you see here uh, indirectly we cannot get the value of c because c is cancelled out on both of the sides okay so here uh, uh, our first method uh, in first method i can give you a nice technique in which you can easily get the roots of this equation so here uh, the very first thing we are going to do is first we need to take squaring on both of the sides so when we apply squaring it will be written as c plus 4 whole square is equals to c minus 4 whole square and uh, further uh, in the next step uh, here we need uh, to uh, expand uh, the nice formula uh, into the left hand side so here we use these two algebraic formula you know that if we have a plus b whole square is equals to a square plus two times of a b plus b square and in the right hand side we apply this formula if we have a minus b whole square equals to a square minus two times of a b plus b square so here uh, we solve this problem with the help of these two algebraic formulas and uh, when we apply uh, this formula into the left hand side it will be written as c square plus two times of c into four plus four square is equals to uh, when we apply this formula on here it will becomes c square minus 2 times of c into 4 plus 4 square and further in the next step we need more simplifications and it will be written as this is c square plus 2 times 4 becomes 8c and this 4 square becomes 16 is equals to this is c square minus 2 times 4 becomes 8c and plus this 4 square is also becomes here 16. And now uh, in the next step we need to move all the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will become c square plus 8c plus 16 this is positive c when we move it into the left hand side it will becomes negative c square this is minus 8c becomes plus 8c this is plus 16 becomes minus 16 and this whole equation is equals to zero and uh, now here in the next step we need more simplifications and you see here this is minus c square this is plus c square are cancelled out by each other and we obtain 8c plus 8c becomes 16c and also you see here this is a negative 16 this is positive 16 are also cancelled out by each other and we obtain here uh, 16c is equals to 0. And now from here we easily get the values of c but here we need to remove the 16 from left hand side so for this we divide both of the sides by 16. so when we divide by 16 on both of the sides it will be written as this 16 and this 16 are cancelled out by each other and we obtain c is equals to from here we have 0 divided by 16 we know about that when we divide 0 by any number it will remains 0 okay uh, so here we easily get the value of c is equals to zero so in the first method we get only one uh, value of c that is equals to zero so uh, here uh, in the next step so we need uh, to verify that is this value of c be the solution or is this value of c be the extraneous root so for verification of this value of c we need to copy down given question statement here it is c plus 4 is equals to c minus 4 this is the our given question statement and here now we substitute the above value of c on both of the sides and we check its behavior so when you put it here it will becomes 0 plus 4 is equals to 0 minus 4 and here we clearly see that it will becomes 4 is equals to minus 4 and now you clearly see here 
the left hand side is positive 4 and right hand side is negative 4 and in general this is not possible case it is not possible that uh, positive 4 equals to negative 4 so uh, here uh, we conclude that this these are not equal so if both the sides are not equal this means that the value of c equals to 0 is not satisfied over given question statement so we finally conclude about c equals to 0 is that c equals to 0 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay and you know about that the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root so here c equals to 0 be the extraneous root and further you see here we cannot get any other value of c which is satisfied our given question statement so finally we conclude about that uh, this question has no solution so this is the final answer which we get here from first method and now we again solve this problem from second method so in second method uh, we need to copy down given question statement here it is c plus 4 equals to c minus 4 this is the given question statement and here our second method with a very quick method and here we quickly get the values of c or we quickly determine about the solution set of this problem so here we need to move uh, this c from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as c plus 4 minus c is equals to minus 4 and you see here this is minus c and plus c are cancelled out by each other and we obtain 4 is equals to minus 4 so this uh, shows that uh, left hand uh, side and right hand side are not equal and here also you see that we cannot get any value of c which is satisfied our given question statement so that would our second method is directly implies that this question has no solution so this is our final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos